In this tutorial, I will show you how to adjust the type parameters for the Velux modular skylight families in this building's roof. First of all, it would be a good idea to click on the section box in the 3D view properties in order to see the skylights in a 3D section. If we zoom in on the skylights, we see that the skylight linings are not cutting entirely through the default roof thickness. This is due to the fact that the linings of the Velux modular skylights can be adjusted in depth to match the type of ceilings being used. If we select the skylights and go to the Edit Type Properties menu, we can see many different properties for the default skylights family, such as the ventilation parameters per module, fire rating, U-value, number of glass pane layers, as well as the IFC parameters and identity data. plus the dimensions parameters. In the dimensions parameters we can change the number of modules, the module slope, the module sizes as well as the front and back lining angles and depth. Further up you can change other aspects of the various skylight parts. You can also click on and off the construction option. This gives you the ability to use the pre-modeled subconstruction or model your own subconstruction. You can also click on and off the curtains. This gives you the choice whether you want your skylights with or without roller blinds. In this example we will leave the curtains out and therefore we will click it off and press apply. At the top of this list, we have a constraints section. This is actually a checklist for the skylight object, which is especially useful when we start to change some of the parameters, such as the slope, width and height of the modules. When we change a module's size, if it does not match with the standard sizes of Velux modular skylights, then some of the checks will disappear automatically letting you know that you need to contact Velux to ask them about special module sizes. With regard to the sizes for ventilating modules, you can check to see if the chosen module size matches with the standard sizes for comfort ventilation or smoke ventilation. Because the size of the module is too big for smoke ventilation, the smoke ventilation option is left unchecked. OK, let's get back to correct the lining. First of all, we can choose the angle of the lining. If we want the lining to go straight down, we can type 0 in the angle field and press apply. If we want the lining to go deeper into the ceiling, we can change this parameter to say 450mm and press apply. You will then see the lining cutting completely through the roof. Let's keep the lining angle at 7 degrees for both front and back lining and press apply. We can also adjust further parameters and thereby see how the constraints work. For example, if we change the module height to 2500mm 
and press apply, we then see the module and the hole in the roof changing. You will also notice that some of the ticks have now disappeared. This means that the module is no longer classed as a standard size, despite the width of the module being unchanged. If we change the module height again to 2200mm and press apply, then all the ticks with the exception of the smoke ventilation option reappear. This confirms that the size we have selected is available as a standard size for both fixed and comfort ventilating modules, but not smoke ventilating. If we change the slope parameter to 15 degrees and press apply, then the skylight slope changes in the model. The lining depth, however, is kept cut through the roof as previously adjusted when the slope was lower. If we go to a slope of 26 degrees, which is not a standard slope for long light, then we get a message showing that this is not possible. We can also change the overall U value, UW, for the whole skylight window. To change the U value, we must change the number of glass pane layers from 2 to 3. The number of glass pane layers is directly linked to the U value shown against the U value heading. So if we change the number of glass pane layers to 3, then the U value changes automatically. As for the ventilation parameters in the case of ventilating modules, then the stated parameters are set for the default family module size. When you change the module size in the type parameters, then you must type in new ventilation values based on our data sheets, or simply exchange the family types to the desired size and the ventilation parameters for the module size should be correct. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to know more about Velux Modular Skylights, please visit our website www.modularskylights.velux.com.